Hi, I'm John. Welcome to the Axis 360 Media YouTube channel. I've got a little tip for you today, and that is how to inject spatial media metadata if the tools stop working because you're on a newer M1 based Mac. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the M1 that's the issue or if it's the operating system. Either way, the tool stopped working, no one's updated it, but there's a still way to get it running. So let's dive right in and let me show you how to get that going. All right, first off, I just want to show you that I am on a MacBook Air with the M1, and it's a base model, and I am on the latest version of OS Monterey, and uh, that's 12.3. So, uh, the link will be in the description here. It is still the latest version is 2.1, and uh, it looks like it hasn't been updated since 2018. Now down here on the page you'll see there's some notes to run this uh, if you're running a 64-bit version of Windows. Well basically you need to do the same thing on a Mac, so you have to install Python. So I'm going to open this up on a new tab here and it'll take you to python.org. Just download the latest version for your machine and install that, probably give it a fresh restart. And now instead of downloading the tool like we have in the past we're gonna download the source code there we go and I'm gonna drag that onto my desktop here and unzip it I said unzip there we go and now you'll see there's all the files here if you click on spatial meta spatial media folder there is an app a python app called gui gui.py if we click on it nothing happens here it just opens up uh, some stuff down i'm it's above my pay grade but we can get it to run just open up terminal and you can drag this guy right into your command line there. Hit enter. There you go. Spatial media metadata injector is up and running. Click open. Uh, a little test file here for you. I'm gonna open that up and inject metadata. Save it on the desktop. Boom, successfully saved file. That's all there is to it and Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to have some more tips on editing 360 photo and video coming, including how to edit your 360 photos with Affinity Photo layered non-destructively. So uh, just stay tuned. That video is going to be coming soon. Have a great day.